Well, good morning, Facebook friends. Here I am, Mike Beard. I'm Saturday morning, having difficulty with feeds. Uh, so please bear with us. Hopefully it'll come out okay. But I'm out here at the historical village this morning. Uh, you may have seen them advertise that they are uh, having their display and have train displays set up out here, all historical type things. And uh, I kind of have a personal interest in these trains because some of you may recall that uh, back whenever we owned the insurance store in beautiful downtown Mount Vernon at the corner of 9th and Main, that we we uh, uh, always had display in our windows, and that display was uh, of the trays, plus other many things. But uh, with that said, when we closed the store, we donated them to the Historical Society, and now uh, mine and a bunch of other ones are set up out here, and uh, it's really kind of cool, and there's a lot of people out here this morning already. And uh, I'm not sure of the exact times, uh, but let's look right over here right now. We've got the, uh, uh, let's get this going over here. Here's your sponsors, uh, sponsored by National Railway and all on way cleaners and Jerry Hitchy. So let's take a look around the Historical Society and see what's going on. And again, it says the next is weak, so bear with me. Uh, let's see what this says right here. A little shameless promotion. All right. These are my favorite trains, particularly this Alaskan train that came around here. Well, this is the one that I really like the most. Look at that. In the Illinois car. Really neat. We'll walk right over here and talk to this gentleman with his hands on the controls. Howard Crisp. He's the person that's helped put all this together. So I want you to say hello to Howard. Good morning, Howard. Tell us what's going on here at the Historical Society with the trains. We have, we have uh, 13 running trains here. And uh, this is, uh, there's two of them on this uh, layout. There's two of them on that layout. There's two of them on the layout over there. And one of the layouts has Jurassic Park. And uh, that's that one down there. It looks yeah, like yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Down there with the dinosaurs. Sure. And uh, then uh, we, uh, this is a new one this year. It's a actually an uh, an outdoor train set. Well, I didn't see that. That um, uh, Doug Williams. Uh, yeah, he he made these and uh, he uh, uh, and he had them running outside when he lived down in, near Springfield. But anyway, uh, this one here is a Lego train, and uh, uh, this is Chris Rude's train. He uh, so he built that. Yeah, yeah. Out of Legos. Yeah, out of Legos. Yeah. <laughs> they had kits for him. Uh huh. And. Uh, then there's uh, some other, uh, this one here is 24 feet long. So yeah, it, uh, it got a good straight run. Yeah. 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 There's always issues with electric trains. You got to stay on them all the time, oh, don't you? you do. yeah. yeah. I used to have issues with mine in that window. I had a real sharp corner out at the front, and that silly thing would jump at about half the time, and it was almost impossible to get out to fix it. Yeah, so. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you want to have a, a, a spot where you can get around behind the board. Right, yeah, you got to be able to walk. That's the nice way you got them set up on these tables. Oh, yeah. Now, there's some back in the back also. Can yeah. we go look at those? Oh, yes, Yeah, let's go, go ahead. Anything else? Uh, all, all this stuff is uh, sort of Christmassy uh, oriented for this time of the year. Well, look at there. One, this one they saw, and the, the, there was a picture of a little boy down here in uh, in the Register News, and uh, uh, Lucy Baker saw something like this at uh, one of the shows she went to, and she thought that was pretty neat. Yes, yeah. And, and this is a J.C. Penney train. It doesn't have a track that doesn't move, but it's a. Uh, uh, Stoney Williams brought that one. Uh huh. And then, uh, wow, look at that big one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, this is a battery operated train. Uh huh. I think I had one like that also. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, we have Thomas the Tank Engine out here. Thomas the Tank. Yeah, they, the little kids enjoy seeing that. Oh, well, yeah. And, uh, well, they, they enjoy all the trains. This sure. I can remember when I would have that downtown on the night of the Christmas parade, the kids would come up and put their noses up to the window. That's what you want to see is kids' noses on the window looking at the truck. Yeah. 
We've got two sizes here. Yeah, yeah, we have no gauge and yeah. a D gauge. Round and around. Look at that going right through the tunnel. Uh, repair shop. Repair shop. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I see that now. And uh, some of the. Uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. How beautiful. This is. These are. Uh, whenever I was doing this, this was what I enjoyed as much as anything is all the different decorations and oh, the yeah, yeah. Uh, buildings and the, the vehicles and the... Look at this little thing over here. Yeah. Well, you've got trains everywhere. Everywhere. Well, if you can't find a train in here, you're just not looking, are you? That's right. It's fun putting it all together. And, uh, How many hours does it take to put it together? Oh, uh, my wife would be able to tell you better than I. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember. Believe me, it's not an easy task. No, no, yeah. it's not. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hi, Lucy. Lucy Baker put this one together. This As I heard about it. Can you tell us about the train? Well, the trains aren't that important. Uh, okay. I, I thought we just had to have Jurassic Park. Oh, okay, so this is, this is Jurassic Park. Yeah, he mentioned that. Well, it, it sure is. So the train's not the, the uh, focal point. It's uh, well, it has its problems, so ever standing here to give it a nudge, see? See, it gets a, sometimes has a hard time making it over that hill. Exactly. That's kind of like some of us with yeah. distant life in general, getting over top of that hill. And this one over here is a, um, it's a Rocky Mountain scene. Yeah. The train comes around, goes through the canyon. And, and they're rocks from her yard. I was going to say, those are real live rocks. Those, those are not play-like rocks. <laughs> They'll go back yeah. to where they belong, actually. They'll, they'll re be replanted, huh? Right. Yeah. How beautiful. Look at this train track from this end. we got one coming down through here. There's your close-up view of the train coming by. And down through the village street churches, bin stores. I remember this building right here. Yeah, yeah. That's, I remember that's, those two that's buildings real yeah, well, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. And I think that bank might have been as well. The bank was in there, and yeah. I believe in yours. Uh-huh. I believe so, yeah. How neat. Well, thank you for using them. I'm glad that... Well, it is. There she goes. Now, yeah. Now, these, these buildings uh, were ones that I had when I was uh, in... in Junior high school. Really? They're that old. Yeah. Well, you know, now I bought these in the last ten years, and yeah. they look at you can't oh, tell a bit no, of difference. No, you can't. No, they. Yeah. They kept them old. Yeah. Yeah. Really neat. Hey. Yeah. I remember that gap back over there also. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The barn was. Is that barn yours? Or? I think it might have been, but I yeah. don't remember yeah, positively. I, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, anyway. Howard, this is absolutely fantastic. I really do appreciate you uh, showing us around. And uh, now, can you tell us your hours, uh, when the display's going on? Well, the displays are on today from 10 to 4 and tomorrow from 1 to 4. 1 to 4. Okay. Any admission charge? No admission charge, but we will accept the donations. Don donations are always accepted, aren't they? <laughs> Regardless of the time of the year, right. donations are always right. appreciated. Yeah. Well, this has been beautiful. I really do appreciate you giving us an opportunity. Thank you for using my trains. I, You know, you buy them and you play with them and then you hate to put them away and then they never go anywhere. If you don't yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, sir. Merry Christmas to you and everyone else. All right. Well, there you have it. Out here at the historical village in beautiful Mount Vernon, Illinois, uh, it's uh, quite a sight to see. And again, I'm a little prejudiced because some of the trains are ones that I had bought and was running at the insurance store uh, back a few years ago. So I'm always kind of excited to come back and see them. So that was kind of cool. And thank you for sharing that with me. But anyway. Here we are, Saturday, just a week from Christmas. I uh, hope you've got everything all ready to go for yourself and your families. And we're, uh, uh, we'll be out uh, uh, next week. We have a ribbon cutting on Wednesday. And uh, that should be about the end of our live feeds for a while. But uh, thank you for following us. Be sure and share and like. We really do appreciate it. Uh, Merry Christmas and God bless America.